Welcome to the Deadly Addictions channel. Today I'm going to be talking about abortion rights. Yeah, can you believe it? Abortion rights. It's fucking 2020 whatever. Alright, let's get some stuff out of the way and say that I am pro-choice. That is right. I am pro-choice. But I'm going to tackle this in a different way where I'm just going to talk and I'm not reading a fucking article because what's the point in going through all the Roe versus Wade and, uh, you know, real data and statistics on abortion and all the parent control clinics that, you know, show in real data how helpful a lot of these practices are. But I'm going to tackle this giving principle of charity and just assume we are having a conversation about abortion and these are legitimate concerns. So, right off the bat, I am pro-choice. It's as simple as that. Now, in a lot of my time on Facebook in the last five years, I have been labeled toxic, right? And my war on Facebook type thing and the idiocy that I saw was not just focused on religion. So, for instance, I had one aunt who unfollowed me, or blocked me, whatever the fuck you call it, because after the fifth time, she posted a fake article, a fake story, and on the fifth time, her daughter went into the thread and begged her mother to stop. Now, when I say after the fifth time, I had happened to be on a, on a mission, and I was doing an experiment, so I was doing... I was watching certain things. So by the first and second one, I already contacted her nice and polite and jokingly like, you know, uh, and it's all friendly stuff, right? But after the fifth one, when the daughter said something and I said, look, a private message, her, look, your daughter, whatever, you know, there's a way you can do this. <clears throat> like you can just do a couple of clicks and that was it. Don't ever do this, right? Now that's an innocent type thing, sort of, right? I don't go on people's walls and post my opinions and ideas. I don't interact with them like that. But if you're going to post something that is, let's say, perceived as a beautiful religious thought or something that became a metaphor, then I'm going to say something if it doesn't make sense or if it's created by the quote-unquote God hates fags movement. So. I'm on Facebook. Well, I did a thing on uh, one of my podcasts, like Facebook War of whatever the fuck, <clears throat> 2017 something. And this is just a warning. Like this, I wasn't just going after religion. I was going after stupidity. When you look at people's consistency with logic, it's gone. There is none. And I understand that. We're fucking not Spock. We're not computers. We're moved by passions and emotions. We have cognitive distortions and, you know... And it's just biases, and I get it. We're all human beings. and So, principle of charity is going to be, you both have legitimate concerns to me. All right? Pro-choice, pro-life. All right. You got it. But there are little things I talk about with religion that kind of, uh, you know, shed a light on things in an interesting, funny way. Although, maybe none of this is really funny. But I would say something like, I would say something like, when is an ambulance pulled up, help the person in the street, put them in the ambulance and goes, this person needs a priest? How come there's not a portion of the hospital that priests pray and cure minor colds and headaches and burns and little cuts? Well, well because it's bullshit. There's no legitimate argument for prayer. It doesn't work. It's simple. This juggling act you do with things is ridiculous. So it doesn't make sense to certain people that his brains don't work that way. Fine, get it. So here we are. So I'll say something in this type of vein for the abortion movement. If you're a woman and you don't give a fuck, as a matter of fact, you get together on Fridays with your girlfriends and talk about how many abortions you're going to have and how much fun it is, right? Because we know that's bullshit. You dumb fucking twats. Okay, you pro-fucking-life people 
There's no fucking get together where women are happy to have abortions and it's lottie dottie. We like to party. So that's fucking ridiculous. But let's say it's there, right? Boom, boom, boom. Let's take a woman and let's have her go and fuck as many guys and try to get pregnant for a fucking year. 365 days. Woman, open her legs, get fucked. Do what you got to do. And come inside her. You, right? Let's fucking go. Let's go balls deep. We did it. She can have only one baby. Right? Now you see what's coming, people? You fucking dopey fucks. Let's take a guy. A male. Whatever fucking term you want to use. And let's let him go around and fuck women for a year. How many babies can be born? Yeah. You get where this fucking logic goes? You dumb fucking people. But I'm going to give you that dumb is dumb and I'm dumb too. And I get stupid and I let things interfere with me. But when you hear things like that, it should make you wake up. Why are we concerned with women's re reproductive organs in her vagina? She can only give birth once a year. Right? You know how this works, right? We have to get fucking biology every nine month pregnancy term on average. Right? Whatever. Right? But a guy can go around and just fuck women every day. They have 300 fucking babies a year. Do you understand this type of logic? And that's just uh, icing on the cake. This is silly and kind of stupid, but it gets serious because my war on stupidity and it focus on religion is because you can go easily go in and check for fallacies. There is not there are websites that are giving people pro life arguments and they're all titled how to answer this or how to answer that. See, the problem is that they're easily debunked. You can show the inconsistency in all the logic where it doesn't make sense. And it doesn't matter, right? Because you're not going to be able to convince people and talk to them about it. So it's just there. It's just propaganda for this woke culture that is saying, oh, now abortions are bad again. No, because this has been a secret fucking thing that's been going on for ages. What is the biggest reason uh, the church has a war on gay people and whatever, right? Because it makes the money. Go do history research in America on why, you know, because if you really look in the Bible, there's not much in there that says anything about fucking being gay or it's bad. Like, it had to be made up because they saw the movement is there. These are the same people who now lied to get on the Supreme Court. So you're living in a country where people lied to get on the Supreme Court. And because it helps you in your pro-fucking-life movement, you let it go. And this is what I can't do. Give me eternal consistency. Give me consistency in your logic and, and the methods and why things work and the way they work. There's no major arguments here. And the only one that I'm going to give is just a real heart-to-heart -heart one. And it's going to be as simple as something like this. Take all your concerns about abortion, legit ones or whatever. And your job is to talk to the woman about it. So let's put me in a position of... Uh, got my girlfriend pregnant and my partner pregnant and I am a pro-lifer I'm just dedicated I got my head set I, you know this is this is whatever okay my job is to convince my partner my view is correct and have a discussion about it that's it that is where it ends and I've had friends I've had this discussion with friends I'm like, look, you, it's legit, fine, okay, you want to go, let's, let's just go extremes and whatever, but the real question is, if I put a piece of paper in front of you, and you sign this, and it goes into law, are you willing to do that? And it's the real honest people who say, no, I can't do that. I can't make a mandatory fucking pregnancy. Now, now we have government children running around. It's fucking ridiculous. Right? No. Your concerns, call them legit. Call them heartfelt, deep. They mean something to you. <clears throat> they make you, it moves you in certain ways. It's a passion for you. 
<clears throat> you take that and you bring it to the woman or you go on tours and you describe what abortion actually is in every term and what it means when it gets later into we have fucking laws that make it so you know this is stupid this is this fucking movement culture trying to g gain chess pieces and the fucking you know the hierarchy of our government nonsense when it's bullshit i'm sorry your job ends with the person and in the movement not legally go do press tours do conventions speak on your soapbox about your perception of danger of killing fetuses or an abortion and whatever term you want to put it in and speaking of terms be honest about the terms and like what happens when you get an abortion when you're three when the doctor says you're three weeks pregnant right yeah there are some gruesome fucking stories fine you want to go crazy you want to go crazy lady gets pregnant she wants an abortion she has to watch an hour and a half movie like whatever right okay all right oh like how crazy are we gonna get no you want to make it so it's illegal and then they have to go to the doctors and doctors have to fucking this is just bullshit and it's gonna come to a point where you're gonna make a major change things will happen but you'll never win this pro-life movement won't win in the end all this scheming all the fucking bullshit you justify everything because of your view but you have no consistency it's pro-choice right but when the fucking Trump bullshit went on and, oh, masks and vaccines, my body, my choice. Where did that go? Where did that go? Oh, I don't have to wear a mask. I don't have to get vaccinated. My body, my choice. Where did that go? And this is why you have no respect, which is why you are dumb fucking idiots. Okay, because I'm not talking about my friend who is, doesn't like the idea of an abortion. Fine. Fine. Express that to the one you love. Have a conversation. Be honest and serious and how you, it'll affect you. You know, whatever. Communicate to your partner. But that's where it ends. Where does this fucking movement come from? You know where it comes from. The same fight I've been trying to fucking fight on. It's idi idiocy and it's fucking sheep. All brainwashed fucking people. You don't think there are people out there who know how psychology works and how, you know, even consumerism and evolutionary biology, we are predetermined. We are going to do things. We are going to believe certain stupid stories. And part of my thing was always about, look, I have a three-click rule. If I see an article or whatever, I'm going to click it and click it and click it and see if I get to a verified type of thing and at least give some effort. Right? So... You want to start a fucking thing. You don't care about the baby after it's born. This is bullshit. Stop it. You're not pro-life. You're pro-fucking forced pregnancy. And I'll be as... Let's go... Let's, let's take my intuition pumps and let's go fucking extremes, okay? Joe, can you ever come... Do you think it would ever come a time where you would sign and make abortion illegal? Okay, let's be honest. Could I see it? Possibly. Um, let's say yes. I could see a world catastrophe where, you know, the, the governments or, or we, as a, we as a world come together and go, look, if we don't have babies, like, we're going to die out. Whatever, right? There's some calamity. There's an asteroid hits a fucking virus. Whatever. Now, the only way I'm going to say yes to that is if it's Star Trek technology. And when you say, Joe, what do you mean? What I mean is, I would make ban I would ban abortions if, when you went to go find out you were pregnant, or when you decided you wanted to have an abortion, all the doctor had to do was run a scanner over your stomach, and it's teleported into a fucking life giving, life caring unit. Whether it's a fucking microbe embryo, whatever, in any state. Meaning they go in, they go, okay, boom. No surgery, no no forcing the woman to do anything. It's just out. Now, that's me just trying to be a little bit honest about where I can see this going. Like, we're in a state of technology where it's like, oh, boom, scan. All right, we're done. You know, sorry, you want to, are you sure about this? Yeah, okay, I don't want the baby. Boom, and then, right, so, so it's taking out. There's no, it's like going for a checkup. 
That's it. No invasive procedure, no nothing. Like a bar scanner over the area, and it's teleported into another chamber. Yeah. Mix that with some calamity about... But guess what? We're fucking humans. You don't think women would um, want to give birth to save the planet, to save our race? Like, this is because you don't have a fucking idea of what what fallacies are and cognitive distortions and biases and how the brain works. You're all just feeding on emotion and impulses. So I'm telling you, if you're a person who believes strongly about not having an abortion... You don't make it a law. You just can try to convince your other, your partner, the lover, the person who you're with. That is where this conversation, this whole argument ends. The fact that this is a government thing, the fact that you have people lying to get on the Supreme Court, setting this up like a chess piece, well, fine, because this is all they can do. I'm sorry to tell all you fucking Republican right-wing brain people and even you crazy far left wing fucking people, your days are over. You can't justify things and be warmongers and just be a different facet of the fucking Republicans. It's it's, it's going to be done. You know what's going to happen? Society's going to change, and you're going to be forced eventually. This is how it works. We are growing. People are in this world are changing. You think you can hold on to these fucking bullshit ways? It's not going to happen. You're just going to muddy the waters and make things difficult. Cause people to die. Cause harm to people. Right? You're just making it so now abortions will be fucking illegal and some back... Like, this is the real facts. Let's go... You want to have a big six-hour live discussion? Fine, I'll do it. You want to go over the data? I had a fucking argument on Facebook with a friend about abortion and i'm like i don't care what you your feelings are in that sense i want to know are you going to sign it into law because that's all i really care about right you're you you valid in your concerns look i feel weird like, whatever you're a human express it it means a lot to you i get it you feel strongly about it fine convey those thoughts and feelings to your partner you don't sign it into law simple we're done this is, never has to be discussed again and fine, you want me to give and take a little bit? Fine. Mandatory hour thing on what abortion really is and what it does. Fine. Can I see a potential future for this thing? Sure, yeah. We're in Star Trek technology, and you don't have to have an abortion. You could just uh, teleport. Fine. All right? But right now, we're not. This is not the place. You think this is fucking a f bunch of fucking groupies, a trend you're trying to, to smack down? No. It's a women's rights and the buzz. And what the worst thing about this is, I call them shields because this whole thing with religion is that, you know, my aunt's a wonderful, beautiful lady person, but she's a shield, right? She's that type of person who wears the cross and whatever, but doesn't care or realize that it lets them fucking molest kids and move their priests around and not face court and justice. It doesn't matter to them. But here you got the same thing. You have women who have the same beliefs. Right? Pro-life. Look, look, this, I don't believe in this. I don't believe in that, right? Fine. Then you don't get one. See how easy this is? This fucking cunt from the Republican place gets on a fucking show and says, I, and she's, it's the pro-life fucking panel, right? So she's like, I think the greatest choice a woman can make is to be a mother. Hey, asshole face. Do you know what you just said? You put the word choice in there. Say it slowly, honey. Right? You don't even know your internal consistency is fucked up. That's the problem. We are all fucking humans. We are all intuition machines. And I love everybody. Like, I tell, I, I had a conversation. Like, look, no. I love everybody at a base level until I fucking know you. Until I get information about you. So I try to train myself to love every human being at a base level, whether I meet you for the first time, you're a stranger, or I have some casual knowledge of you. But as that knowledge grows, my opinion changes, my bias changes. It's just, it happens. So, we have an abortion fucking right struggle 
in America. I don't know where it is, how it is around the world. And it's just fucking bullshit. Nonsense. And this whole Democratic, Republican thing is just more bullshit. We've been hoodwinked, bamboozled, fine. But the fact that there's no third party movement that's saying, you know what? We're going to take so many members away from the Democrats and the Republicans that you have to deal with us because that's how it works, right? Let's take Bernie Sanders a certain amount of years ago. He goes, you know what? Fuck the Democrats, fuck the Republicans. And what you do is you get the Republicans who are pissed and not go, like they don't like, and you get the Democrats and you form your own group. Then guess what? You got 23% of the world. Well, they have to come to you. No, what's going on now is this pretend progressive movement, liberal bullshit. When the fall, this, this left is just another face of the right, two heads of the same snake. And this is why you're not going to get feedback. You're not going to get momentum in your movements, right? This is no free health care. Because right? we didn't even get into that discussion. You fucking asshole faces. You have a fucking system here, right, that you can't do. You can't make it work. You care only about the bird. You give no fucks about the kid afterwards. Health care, child care, education, ultrasound, right? Is that ultrasound free now in this fucking state? In these state, Like, just fucking wake up. The feelings you have, valid or not, you're running on intuition. You think you have logic and it's working? It's not. Write it down on paper. You'll find the fallacies if you train yourself. You can become introspective and work on things, becoming a better person. And a better person is realizing that, oh, you know what? Uh, my, I have a valid view on abortion, but I can't make it a law. That's, it, that's as simple as this is going to be, this whole fucking podcast. That is what you have to understand. I don't care if you're hearing this and you're a family member, you love me or you don't love me, you're some stranger. I'm giving you principle of charity. You have valid concerns, you have valid feelings. You feel strongly about them. They mean a lot to you. You have this vision of whatever. Convey that to your loved one. That is it. We are done. I don't give a fuck about your pretend God who's a genocidal monster if he's real. But you'll forget that, right? All your fucking religions. I can't believe, I tell this, I say this a lot, I couldn't believe when I became an adult that religion was real. That people still believed in God. And these fucking gods. 3,000 gods, 300,000 denominations, but you pick the right one. Right? It's, you got it, now. There's no fucking consistency of logic, so stop it. You have a choice to make. That is it. It's just it. Women have a choice. They can have an abortion. And I don't give a fuck what the reason is either, okay? I don't care if medical or not. No, I don't like the idea of abortion, okay? And in my lifetime, I did have one. I didn't have one, but I had a girlfriend, and that was her choice. Didn't love her any less. Didn't think anything less about her, and I'm not fucking, I don't like the idea. Be honest, intellectual honesty, just admit it. Yeah, you have these views, but you cannot make it law. You're just looking for trouble, you're just looking to make grief, and you're not going to give a fuck. The same people you wear the cross, you go to church, you put your dollar in the fucking thing, and they're using that fucking dollar. To get the people who got raped a fucking county over, a borough over. And they're going to hide them from the police and shuffle them until they rape another fucking couple of kids. And do you understand the fucking impact of that? You fucking cunts. You dick face fucks. Right? It's not just the random, oh, people are fucking sick. This is a sick fucking person. Right? This is what they do. No. This is a man who wears the cloth of a god. Brings you into his house of worship. And then rapes and molests you. It's diabolical. It's fucking evil. But you don't give a fuck. Go to your local church, you fucking twat asshole faces. 
It's so sickening because this is the same fucking thought patterns and the same cognitive functions that enable this bullshit. Why you can't see the right or wrong about abortions? Take every fucking argument you have, right, get it down, and look for the fallacies in it. And you'll see the bullshit. This is not a fun and games women's society that fucking pop abortions out because it's fun for them on a Friday night. This whole fucking thing, I had a, like I said, I had a fucking debate on a, on a Facebook with a friend and his wife was in the fucking, uh, and it worked in a hospital and she came into the conversation and every fucking thing they said was bullshit. I nicely explained how it was a fallacy. Like you can't point this out. Your personal experience means nothing. Right? Your, your personal, it means fucking nothing. We have to discuss data. That's input. What it does. What are these things that you're trying to close down, these uh, abortion clinics and stuff? What is actually doing? What they've done to help this country? Women's health care. This is bullshit. So you're sitting there, you're like, oh, Joe's a dick. Yeah, fuck you. Okay, because I've been dealing with this now for fucking years. Kept my mouth shut. No one ever fucking knew I was an atheist. No one ever fucking knew I had any fucking problems with it. But I'm done. I don't need to see 200 family members come to Congress and get in front of a court and say, yes, we have evidence that the fucking church's religion has deterred police fucked up investigation so they can have these fucking rapist motherfuckers hiding and playing a shell game and you're all fucking responsible for it and you'll all be responsible for the fucking bullshit abortions that happen that put women at risk because you have a fucking feeling you you think you know better no there's no fucking argument here okay there's no argument here you have valid concerns, express them. It's her choice. It is that simple. And that's giving the principle of charity. That's not saying, hey, fuck face. Now you piss me off. Let's let's go get everybody's gotta get a vasectomy. And when you wanna have a fucking kid, you gotta fucking go and get it refixed or whatever. Right? No, we don't want to convince the fucking man, right? The fact that I can go out and put my dick into three women tonight. And have three babies in a fucking year from one night. But a woman can go have do this 50 times a day. It can only have one baby within nine months. Well, oh, yeah. Oh, no, when you going to get technical, you have twins. Uh, yeah. Well, you get the fucking idea, right? This is why your brains don't fathom these things. While you're still swimming in this, oh, I'm the Bible. The Bible's a fucking joke. Your Torah is a joke. Your fucking every other thing. You're blinded by biases and fucking cognitive distortions you have no fucking clue of. And I get it. We're trying to get by in life. We're trying to make our way, and it's difficult. Fucking depression wants to drag me down every fucking day. I just, it is a, a life that was hard. We're trying to fucking navigate it. You don't take the woman's right of choice away. I mean, come on. This is not even me reading articles. Like I said, you want to get into Roe vs. Wade and all that bullshit? Go ahead. But ultimately, know that this is a fucking bullshit cocksmith. Bull You're getting fucking bamboozled. This is a fucking fukaki, whatever the fuck you call it. You have a movement that's been in here, ingrained in our government. It's, there's no separation from church and state. It should have been really instituted a long time ago get some people with balls right who understand what that means they don't give a fuck you christians you fucking whatever fucking religion you are you're all fucking liars you're all fucking shams charlatans you know what i love you anyway because i understand how to brain i understand it but don't think I'm not going to get on when you come on with your fucking Torah lessons bullshit and lie. Because if I hear it, I'm fucking posting in it. And if I watch your fucking stupid hour and a half thing, and I laugh at you, 
and then you come back and you got nothing because I'm telling you, you're just fucking a brainwashing kids. You're just indoctrinating the next generation. That's what this is. But guess what? This isn't, you know, football teams. It's not me getting my kid to be a fucking Yankee fan, is it? No, this is a breeding culture of trying to keep this fucking religious fucking nonsense within our government. Within your fucking pussies and your fucking vaginas and your fucking ovaries. Enough. We've been through this before. We have laws already. We don't have women willy-nilly abortion, but now it's a term you want to fuck with. You want to turn in, in turn logic and twist it on its fucking head, and you want to talk about embryos. Well, yeah, guess what? Take a baby, get it pregnant. Oh, no, this is a bit, right? Okay, take it and freeze it for 27 years and then impregnate it into someone else. Hey, we could do that, right? Do that with a baby. Do that with a fucking baby. Fucking get a baby born, pop it out, freeze it for 27 fucking years, and then decide to rate. You can't do it. All these fucking arguments. Oh, when the sperm hits the thing and it becomes a this, it becomes a that. No. It's all fucking... In building blocks of bad, faulty thinking. That's what my war on Facebook was all about. And I'm going to give advice for anybody who's listening to this. That one person in particular who I love fucking more than anything. She's amazing. I saw you post on Facebook that your silence is going to determine her response. Meaning, if you're not talking, right, that's a bad argument. I'm not going to name, but I love her very much. Her argument on Facebook multiple times now is, hey, if you're this is that, if you're not going to speak up on this issue, and I, I'm going to, that's going to let me see where you lay in this, well, there's going to be trouble. I'm going to block, I'm going to consider, I'm going to reconsider my, you know, but whatever. But that's a bad argument because it doesn't mean nothing. People's non arguments, no words on Facebook is not an indication. It might be an indication, in a sense, but it's not a legitimate way of saying this person's one way or another. You're just venting. You're just looking to, you know, make your voice heard. And I understand that. No. What you got to do is confront the people or what they post. Or ask them directly. Truth over feelings. This is bullshit. You can't come on Facebook and say, your silence is whatever. Because Facebook is garbage. Most people don't like it. They look at just to see their kids and family members growing up around the world and say hi to grandmothers and mothers. <coughs> this is not a legitimate way to go about it. So please, I love you, but it's just silliness. It's just fucking nonsense. And, and I'm toxic, by the way. So, hey, what are we going to do? Right? You know, who knew this was coming? Now, I fucking knew. Oh, we can't talk to your aunt, though. You can't talk to... This, this. Well, fuck you. Because this is all bullshit. I'm not going to fucking picnic area where this fucking cunt wants my fucking other fucking relatives dead. They want to stone them because they're fucking gay or something. But it's not what they believe, right? It's only what their church believes, what their religion believes. But or they could separate it because it's really the God in their head that they're fucking worshipping, right? All the excuses. This type of logic. This is what's going on here. You have internal logic. And I get it. Like I said. You want valid reasons. You want real concerns about abortion. And what it could be an impact on the society. Fine. Convey them. To your loved one. And then let them choose. So I'm giving as much as I can. Even though I'm calling you dumb fucking cunt twats. Because... You're a, this is a society where we haven't grown up yet. And I'm just happy that the data does show non-religion is growing, atheists is growing. You know, we're seeing more movements that, you know, there's nothing religion can do that atheism can't do. Like, it's just bullshit. You're fucking nonsense. And don't give me the charity, the good shit they do, because it doesn't fucking work no more. Okay? I'm not fucking propping up an organization that can rape thousands of children over years and then hide it, move it around, and fuck up law enforcement, and they go, oh, but we we'll fucking feed 60 people in this fucking county. You know, fuck off, because it doesn't work. I don't care. 
this this is bullshit here is nonsense you got valid reasons for having an abortion fine you got valid reasons for not having abortion use that's the conversation you have and then the woman is going to decide i don't know how this is even a conversation like i said i'm surprised i wake up one day and go oh people still fucking believe in this is real like churches like this whole you know it's when you wake up right when you start getting those idea well for me it culminated with about 13 years old kind of understanding that there was some kind of mental issue going on with my mom and i started looking into it right so this has been in my podcast but i'm here talking about the fucking abortion rights in america i am pro-choice will always be even if my personal feelings are against it. Yes. I don't like abortion. I don't like the idea of it. If I had a woman, a partner, we would try, I would convey my thoughts. I know we could make it. We can make this work. Whatever. And as soon as she says, I don't want it. It's it. It's done. It's over. The conversation is over. And I'll end this with the extremes again. Can I see a moment? Yes. You want to make it mandatory that they have to watch a fucking movie or whatever the abortion? All right, come on. Inconvenience the woman. All right, whatever. Fuck it. She's got a vagina, right? Fuck her. Don't get the trend going with the men, right? Because do I have to put this out there again? Get a woman, have her fuck 50 people a day for a year. She can only have one baby. But you know what I'm saying. No, she can have two right now. Fuck it. Get a guy. Fuck 50 women a day for a year. Tons of babies, but you don't give a fuck about that. And you don't give a fuck about the babies after they're born. Fuck you. These are the same people denying them health care, education. So there should be Medicare for life, Medicaid for, uh, for free Medicaid for life, free education up till college and past college. Enough of this. We know the stats. We know that education is what is going to build America. You want to keep this country great? Free schooling. And we have real bright people who are putting it out there. Legitimate ways to do this. There is a legitimate way to get Medicare for all. There is a legitimate way to get health care paid every day for everybody. And to put people in schools and get free education. Canceling the debt. You didn't do all this before you had your fucking movement. You didn't at least try this shit. No, you're wrapped up in a fucking movement because of idiocy and fucking ideology. Your team, my team, the fucking Democrats, Republicans, and you're just fucking clouding and muddying the waters. You're obfuscating everything. You don't give a fuck because you feel so strongly about it. I get it. But... It stops with the woman's choice, and it always will. And like I said, you want to give me a day where it's with Star Trek technology, where the woman goes in, gets scanned, and then it's over? Fine. That's it. Yeah, you know what? And it has to coincide with some kind of climate. So I'm not even saying it has to be just fucking silliness. And you got real rights being trampled on. You've got concerns growing in this country. You got, I got family members on Facebook flipping out in a way. And I don't like it. I don't like being in this position of 51 years old. The religion is still here. I, I can't fucking believe it. And then we got laws here based on bullshit. We have laws that are working. It works. We have the statistics and the real evidence of how these Planned Parenthood places work. It's just fucking bullshit. And I think I'll end that here. We are facing a dilemma. A concern goes out to all women all over the world. You know, America's setting a trend. But don't. This is fucking stupid. You've got now organizations already flying people out, you know, to other states that it's legal. And what'll happen? You'll breed these fucking toxic states like Texas and Florida. Go fuck yourselves, okay? With your bullshit. And okay? And another thing, 
Just remember, you are okay with people lying to get on the Supreme Court if it favors you. Because there should be an uproar. There should be a fucking revolution. What is going on? But if it favors you, it doesn't matter. And that should be very concerning. Because I try to be honest with myself. And I just happen to be lucky. I have a great friend who gives no fucks about my issues and puts me in my place. So I value that. I value truth over feelings. I'm human. I am fucking flawed. But I have enough fucking understanding of how these things work to say my feelings don't matter and as much as conveying that to my loved one to the person it's concerned with and fine if i think it's a problem i'll book a place and then stand on my soapbox and express my feelings about abortion and guess what if this is a trend that grows in the country and that is what society wants it's gonna be a sad society because i don't want to be in that society that puts a law that government mandated children. I don't think you people understand this. So my heart goes out to everybody on both sides. I get it. It, it means a lot. It, you have these strong feelings. It makes you feel a certain way. I get it. But all the arguments you look at aren't going to hold up. Right? Oh, my body, my choice. Life only begins after birth. I'm personally pro. A fetus is not a person. Abortion will stop overpopulation. Women will die from illegal abortions. Abortion in cases of rape. Abortion for babies with fatal diagnosis. Babies with disabilities are better off aborted. Uh, abortion can be medically necessary. Abortion is a constitutional right. All these things I just mentioned are on a pro life thing's replies. Yes. Each little individual, cute, fucking well-produced little fucking thing with women and men. You know, real concern. No, you're all fucktards. Okay? Because the little nuggets of truth in your fucking statements, in your uh, anti-fucking how to reply, can get broken down. You can be shown the fucking fallacies and the inconsistency in it. But you don't want to see that. So that's why this is a 45-minute rant and not a fucking fact-checking thing. Okay, because you're all fuckheads. All fucking nuts. And that's just life. We're all humans on this fucking planet. So, do me a favor. Try to accept that honesty. Fine, your feelings are valid. This is your view. It cannot be made law. Simple. We're done. I hope everybody's doing good. My best to you and yours. Ah, <sighs> take care everybody. Bye-bye.